Well, good morning, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. And this is, I think, episode 64 or 65, something like that. And I'm super happy to be here with you once again. Today, I want to talk about documenting your art events, how to document your art events, your openings, uh, any event that you might have that you might want to document for the future for promotion. I'm going to show you how to do it in an easy way today. So what's in my plate, my friends, for today for breakfast? I have scrambled eggs, delicious scrambled eggs. Actually, they are egg whites. I love egg whites, uh, less cholesterol. So egg whites with potatoes, those tiny round potatoes chopped in pieces. And I have some tomatoes and some onions all uh, scrambled together. Very, very good. Smells great. I can't wait to eat it uh, right after this breakfast uh, episode right here with you, my friends. So today I want to talk about really quickly uh, documenting your art events. And I'm going to show you a sample as well, how I do it. Um, I always think that you, when you have an event, when you have whether it's an, an art show, a group show you're part of, anything that you are part of, you're excited about, you should document it. You should make a quick video about it. You should document it. There are applications that you can use. I can give you a quick a quick video, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk today a little bit about making it, a, a go to the next level, right? Making it a little bit better. So what I do is uh, when I'm having a show, and a, a solo show or any kind or or any event that I want to document, could be an art performance or so on, uh, I always thinking about how am I going to document it uh, early on, not just during the event, but I like to give a little bit of context when somebody's going to watch that video, give them a little bit of context of what it is, where is it at, give them a little bit of the flavor for the whole thing, for the viewer, not just the artwork, not just the picture. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you a video that maybe some of you saw, a video that I did from my a recent exhibition in Romania. And I documented the whole process from arriving to the museum um, to installation of the work. And then I gave actual an actual tour of the show um, that then I produced into a little video. What all I did is I took my iPhone. Throughout the process, I was always thinking about, you know, finding good shots, good angles that I could use in this video. Um, and also, you know, trying to trying to give some context and some interest, not only of the show, but also of the city. It was my first time in Romania. I wanted people to get a flavor for the city. So if you see from the beginning of this video, which I'm going to show you right now, uh, it's only a three minute video. Uh, it kind of gives you some of the flavor for where I am for this city as well. So I started the video with something that's kind of beautiful, enticing for the viewer. Um, and then I take you right into the museum, right into the show. First, it in the preparation of the show, installing the show, and then I give you a quick tour of the exhibition. So by the end, in three minutes, you have a good idea, good flavor of what it was like, even if you were not there. So that's the whole purpose of so my friend, as you plan for your shows, as you plan for your um, events, I would say, you know, if you don't docu document it, it's like it never happened, right? This is, uh, this is the world of visuals, right? World of visuals. So when you document your events, you are able to promote them later, to create more momentum for them, and to give a nice documentation of what is it that you did, whether it's a show in your city or whether it's far away, whether it's an event that you're doing with other people, it doesn't matter. Document, 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 so that you can then uh, have a record, an archival of the work that you are doing as an artist. So I'm going to show you right now this video. Take a quick look again how I combine uh, still images and then how I combine video shots uh, and to produce this little video, which I only produced it in my phone. You know, everything is on, it was done with my phone. I just used my phone to take the pictures, to take the videos. I downloaded, um, the, there's so many applications you can download in your phone to edit videos. I use iMovie. And then that's it. Then upload it to YouTube. Boom. Very easy. So let me show you this video uh, and then give you a good idea, of, you know, how you can document your own event. So here we go.
there you go, my friends. So there you have it. <laughs> Quick example of how I would document the show. So if you see, you know, as prior to the show, I've already been thinking what I'm going to do. So I'm looking for right angles. My camera is not just standing stationary, but I like to move around as well. Even if it's a still shot that I want to take, I move with my camera. So I give it more, a little, bit, little, bit, little bit more of a cinematic experience. And um, the music, then I just downloaded a song that I like. I purchased a song for the, just for my video and then use my phone to produce it. And voila, you know, in a few minutes, I had this beautiful video to show the world uh, what I did. Hadn't I taken the time to do this, you know, it would just be in my memory in just a few still shots of that show. But now I have it documented. It's a, it, it registers what I have done in Romania, what I have done with my work. Notice how also there were three, three paintings that were specifically done for the show. And I highlighted those pieces too. I actually inserted the actual image with the caption of the title and so on. So my friends, just an example here that you can use next time you have a show, next time you have an event, think about documenting it uh, and just have fun with it. Just have fun, be creative and do something fun and special for those who follow you and also to document what you do as an artist. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Share it with your friends, my friends, and we'll see you on Friday for Breakfast with Sergio. Bye.